Maybe you could cut to a clip here. Today on the show, Zach Braff loves you. I like giving America pleasure. Whoa. Whoa indeed. We break down the most bingeable shows. And Altered Carbon's Martha Higareda plays a game of Would You Rather. I may win. It's Thursday, March 22nd. And this is the IMDb Show. Hey everyone. So Kerry, it's been a week since I've seen you last. Mm -hmm. What are we talking about today? I think we should talk about the Roseanne reboot that it's premieres back. next week, yes. A lot of people very excited. Yeah, well, me too. So to prepare, I decided I was gonna go back and binge all nine seasons of the original series. And you know what? Still holds up. I can't even imagine how long that took. I tell you, it took three days, five hours, and 21 minutes, roughly. And why doesn't it surprise me you actually did the math on that? Let's talk about what makes a show bingeable. What is it? Right, okay, well, I think it has to be on for at least two seasons. Fair enough. Uh, and it has to be the kind of show that like you would pee your pants to avoid missing a good moment. All good points. Now with so many bingeable shows out there, it can be hard to decide which ones to watch. Luckily, our friends at Geico are all about saving you time, which is why today we've put together a list for you in no particular order of the top 15 most bingeable shows presented by Geico. Number one, the animated show that caused a riot around Szechuan sauce. Number two, an afterlife comedy that appreciates frozen yogurt just as much as you do. Number three, when a problem arrives in this drama, you can rest easy knowing it's handled. Number four, if you don't love this classic show about nothing, no soup for you. Number five, the truth is indeed out there and it's highly bingeable. Number six, a sketch comedy show created by two of the funniest guys on the planet. Noise. Number seven, there are no ish, ands, or buts about the hilarity of the cast and writing on this show. Number eight, pour a whiskey neat and put on your smoking jacket to watch this addictive period drama. Number nine, arm yourself with waffles and prepare for the arrival of the Demogorgon. <laughs> Number 10, I dare you to leave before they choose between the Cape Cod Fixer with a pool or the move-in ready Tudor. Number 11, buckle up for the Battle of the Ionian Nebula when you watch this epic sci-fi drama. Number 12, it's the only sketch comedy show where Agent Dale Cooper is mayor. That's fantastic. Number 13, a reality show about soggy bottoms, but Mary's statement jackets are the real star. I'm intrigued now. So those are all amazing shows, but the one I wanna to add to the list at number 14 is The Office. That's what she said. I rewatch that show all the time. Michael Scott is my favorite type of TV character, someone who's just as likable as he is unlikable. I want people to be afraid of how much they love me. My top bingeable show in the last part has got to be no big surprises here, Lost. Yeah. No matter how many times you binge the show, you can always Always find something new and the pilot, best pilot so ever. So good. So that was the 15 most bingeable shows presented by Geico. Let us know what you love to binge at IMDb on Twitter and Facebook. Now, not everyone can say that they've starred in a hit TV show that went on to have nine successful seasons, and not everyone can say that they've directed not one, but three Oscar winners in the same movie, because not everyone can call themselves today's guest, Zach Braff. It's the Cadillac of podcast companies. The people see use Cadillac as a reference. <laughs> Alex, listen, who are you and what are you doing? Go. Hi. Yeah, there you go. That, sound, that was a good intro. I liked it. That made me like myself. That's an amazing set of accomplishments. And your most recent victory right now is the new show, Alex Inc. Yes. What's Alex Inc. all about? Alex Inc. is inspired by the true story of this guy named Alex Blumberg. And he made a podcast about his life as he set out to try and start a business. Wait, your job? Yes, but what if I, and this is one of the reasons why I want to take you to dinner tonight, start my own podcast company. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You directed the pilot for Alex Inc. Yeah. Uh, you starred in it. I've never understood how you direct yourself. Well, I do it a bunch of times, and then I have playback, so if I'm not sure, I can I can go, okay, let's cut. I want to look at the playback matter, and I'll watch a bunch of takes back. But after doing this so long, you know when you're and you know when you're okay. Will you please shut up? Oh, sorry, honey. Give us uh, one piece of great trivia for the Alex Inc. trivia page. Uh, the pilot was shot in a giant old warehouse in Brooklyn. It was the same location where they shot the movie The Intern. Hold on, what? I can't have you here without, of course, bringing up Scrubs. What was it? What was the secret sauce in Scrubs? That's a good question. I think it was the writing. So at times it, it could be so silly. I mean, you could have these fantasies that were so surreal and absurd. <laughs> My balloon! But then you'd come around a corner and we'd be totally straight talking about a patient and life and death. I'm just tired. 
And that's what we strive to do with, with Alex Inc. It's a comedy first and foremost, but it is about a family struggling to make it happen. I know you're used to dad doing a lot more of these things because at his old job he had more flexible hours and made good money and had great benefits and still decided to quit and thrust us into chaos. Come on back, baby. As a director, you know, I tip my hat to you always. Garden State, uh, we could talk about that for hours, but my favorite piece of your work is Going In Style. Oh, thanks. Um, you've got three Oscar-winning actors, and you're the boss. Not to mention, I've only made indies. So right. they were like, do you want to direct Morgan Freeman, Michael Caine, and Alan Arkin <laughs> in a bank heist action comedy that takes place in Manhattan and Brooklyn? And I was like, yes. We're gonna need professional help. You think? Mr. Kane, Mr. Freeman, Mr. No, Arkin. Morgan, Morgan is the nicest, sweetest person. He's the one, though, he likes to tease. He's the one who'd come on set and I go, okay, and then Morgan, you're gonna cross over here as the camera's gonna come around. He goes, my character would never do that. <laughs> and you're like, what? He's like, why would I go over there? I would never do that. I like the crew's sound for a second. He's like, I'm just kidding, whatever you wanna do. <laughs> I don't wanna stay in the car, it's hot in here. Well, Zach, we'll be back with you in just a minute with some fan questions and more. But first, one of my favorite streaming shows out right now is Altered Carbon. It's set in a world where you can transfer your consciousness into sleeves, other people's bodies, and basically live forever. Well, we recently sat down with Martha Higareda, who plays Detective Kristen Ortega on the show, and we turned the tables a bit by interrogating her in a game of Would You Rather. Hi, my name is Marta Gareda. I play Kristen Ortega, who is a kick-ass detective in Alto Carbon. You were on to me before I even got Because I knew you were a danger, which you clearly are. Alto Carbon is a futuristic show, and there's this new technology in which you can digitalize your consciousness into a chip, so then you can live forever. Shh. Let's play Would You Rather. A lightsaber. Even if you don't know how to use that thing, you just throw it and it'll cut the person in half. If it's a person. Which one was which one? I'd rather take the pill that gets you in the matrix. The blue pill. I mean, not the one that you live in this matrix, but the other one. The red pill. In which you can see how far the rabbit hole is. All I'm offering is the truth. Just face the truth. I would rather be an alien. I don't think I would want to be the short ones with the big head. I prefer to be the tall white. <laughs> Am I insulting any aliens right now? That guy's definitely an alien. You don't like it, you can kiss my furry little butt. Alter Carbon. Although, the other one has Ryan Gosling in it. But, well, got Joel Kinnaman, so. Which way is the shower? Final answer is Alter Carbon. Saving your ass is not my only job. Carrie, were you here the whole time? <laughs> yeah, I've been crouched in the corner. Wow. Yeah. A lot of people don't actually realize I'm here until this part of the show. It's bizarre. Funnily enough. Would you rather bring Scrubs back as a TV movie or bring the series back as a whole? I had a whole movie, a TV movie pitch for Bill Lawrence, the showrunner. And, uh, like, where's JD now? I can't tell you because it's part of my pitch. Okay. But I told him this whole pitch over dinner and he laughed a lot and he's like, we'll see, we'll see. I think it'd be fun to do like a, a, two, so a cool. two hour Scrubs movie. I would totally do that. Okay, Zach, game time. Yes. I'm gonna give you the power uh, of a network executive, except for it's gonna be the power over everything. What we're gonna do is we're gonna read you a list of some trending items and you're gonna tell us if we should renew them okay. or cancel them for good. And you're not just gonna say renew or cancel, that would be boring. So of we made- props? God, no expenses spared I told you we've got a budget. I'm oh my you, this God. This is how we make the show. I hope I get to keep this. Or you know what, even better, we I would more appreciate it if you guys use this as your regular yes or no prop. Perfect. So we'll do green for renew, well, red terribly. for cancel. <laughs> okay, renew or cancel. Sound baths. I don't know what that is. Okay, you lie down and people rub quartz and it makes a noise and it gets, I don't know, Cancel. relax. Cancel! Okay. Virtual reality. Yes, I'm in, I've, I've seen the future. LaCroix. Oh, I love them. Cloning your dog. Cancel! Elon Musk's human colony on Mars. Totally, keep it going, that's awesome. Fantasy sports leaks. I don't follow sports at all, so, but a lot of people get a lot of pleasure out of it, I know. So I wanna give men pleasure. <laughs> Rena. <laughs> Superhero movies. I don't really watch them. I did go to see Black Panther and I liked it a lot. Rena. Activated charcoal juice. I don't know what that is. It's charcoal juice. It's Cancel. Just, yeah. TV reboots. They seem to be working. Will and Grace is working. Roseanne looks great. Let's do it. Renew. Renew. Maybe Scrubs one someday. 
and seen. Well, we reached out to Twitter as well to have your fans throw some questions in for you. Oh boy. Ready to go? Yeah. At the sky had a baby asks. Oh, I know the sky had a baby. <laughs> if you and Donald Faison could do a remake of any dynamic duo in a TV show, which show and why? Silver Spoons. <laughs> Who would be Ricky? I'd be the Ricker. <laughs> And he would be Alfonso, I think it goes without saying. At Classic George is curious, uh, will we get to see some of your old chums from Scrubs make a few cameos in Alex Inc? We only made 10 episodes and I didn't want to sort of distract from starting a new universe by bringing in Scrubs chums. But I can assure you if we get a season two that I will be begging them to come on. At Marty Rockstar in all caps, please say anything in Italian, we love you. Va bene. Buona notte. Chicken parmesan. So you're fluent then? Yeah. <laughs> okay, amazing. Excellent. That wraps up fan questions. Uh, one more thing. When you're not working, we'd love to know what you're watching on television or in the cinema. It's our watch list. The show that I'm watching that I liked a lot, that I don't think there's enough people talking about. Go on. Because it's so darn good, is Smilf. It's a cute kid. Oh, I'm Bridget. Maybe we can go for a drink later. Frankie Shaw writes it, directs it, stars in it, and she's amazing. I'm like their publicist. I keep telling everyone to check it out. You look uh, homeless great. Kerry, for you. I am very excited to watch Barry this weekend. I'm set up here like you asked me to. Oh, right. Duh. Bill Hader's new show. Yep. This is his directorial debut, and it's about a hitman who gets hired to take out an actor in an acting class, but instead he ends up joining the acting class and loving it. What do I, I don't know what to say. Wow, wow. If people like Barry, I think they should also check out Impastor, which was a show on TV land for a few seasons. Are you a pastor? Of course. A con man takes over the identity of a gay pastor in a small town, and then he ends up really liking it. I should probably move in with him until this crisis is over. For me, I'm gonna pick uh, Unsane. So this is Steven Soderbergh's first horror film, and he shot it entirely on an iPhone. The premise is, you know, if I gave you a bunch of papers and I was like, just sign this right here, you're not gonna read the whole thing until you find out that you've just been committed to a mental asylum. I am being held here against my will. Do you know how many calls the cops get like that? You know what's, what's making me nervous is that you made me sign a contract to come on the show. <laughs> yeah, we I did. I have no idea what yes, I signed. Yes, we did. Thanks so much for being on the show. Thank Such you. a pleasure to have you. We're I huge a, I, fans I of yours. I want you to read a plug for my show, though. A hundred percent, I will. And don't rush it. You know, some of you guys nice rush slow, the plug. You let me know. Uh, don't forget to catch Zach's new show, Alex Inc., premieres Wednesday, March 28th at 8.30, 7.30 Central on ABC. Woohoo! Before we go, head on over to imdb.com slash show where you can rate the show and watch all of our previous episodes. We're gonna see you next Thursday. And now, I'm gonna leave you with this week's trailer trailer. Let's talk about this plan of yours. I think it's good, except it sucks. So let me do the plan and that way it might be really good. Wow. Hey, hi. Could you give me a ride? Hop on board. Awesome. Oh, no! I can't believe you. Please tell me what's going on here. Our group of friends has been playing the same game of tag for 30 years. What? Quite by accident, I find myself in a rather criminal position. What criminal activity could possibly involve it except a crime of fashion force? That's better. I'll wave to you from the finish line. McFly. That went well.